Hello again. I help people connect to their own divine nature, their divine truths through the animals. And I find this is most easily done on safaris and wildlife adventures. So if you think that a safari or a wildlife trip is out of your ability, please contact me. I'd love to help you plan it. So today my question is, one of the top questions we get about African safaris is, how much does it cost? How much is an African safari? So you can start with total shoestring, zero budget practically, and go up into the multi-multi-thousands. I think many of us in the United States and Canada and the European states have seen all kinds of advertisements for luxury, luxury safaris. And we think that's how they are. And they think we might not ever be able to afford them. And yeah, you can do those kind of safaris. However, I've been looking at a lot of different safari options lately. And I think they are much more reasonably priced than, than I ever thought they were. So I'm going to give you a number. And of course, this is 2023 right now. This number applies today only. I can't speak for next week, next year, or in five years from now, whenever you might be watching this video. But I think if you plan between $350 and $450 a night per person double occupancy, you will find yourself in a very nice safari. The safaris that I take people on are closer to the 350 range. Again, depending on some other factors, sometimes it's less, sometimes it's more. And they're very nice safaris and they're very well guided. And we see a lot of wonderful animals. But if you go at a different time of year, it might be closer to 400, 450 a night. Now, some people might disagree with that number per night. So be aware of that and know that for some safaris, that's an unrealistic number. Gorilla trekking is going to be a completely different number that I don't actually know. For some specialized safaris, there's mountain biking, there's horseback riding, there's walking, there's gorilla trekking. All of those safaris are going to be very different in cost. So those numbers aren't going to apply at all. I'm talking about driving safari, going to different parks, seeing all the animals, having a personal experience in a very small vehicle, staying at nice places. And I'm referring to Kenya mostly. So the countries are going to make a big difference too. So I hope that helps just a little bit. And please get a hold of me. Come visit me at revcarencleveland.com and have fun on safari.